Hello, my name is Julian, and I am an admissions counselor with the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine. The topic of today's video is about paying for medical school. The first thing that people think of when they consider paying for medical school is, of course, tuition. Uh, tuition is the biggest chunk, but there are other things to consider as well. Uh, the total cost of attendance generally includes tuition plus rent, food, and other things that you normally pay for on a daily basis. Understanding things in terms of total cost can really help you to wrap your head around the whole financial aspect of attending medical school. Whenever you go to a medical school, FAFSA is the first thing that you fill out. That's where you're going to get your unsubsidized Stafford loan from. You can also apply for Graduate PLUS loans as well to help pay for the cost of medical schools. Whenever getting loans, you should really try to uh, set a budget and stick with it. Um, setting a budget can ensure that you don't take out any more money than you absolutely need. Other ways to pay for medical school are scholarships, but whenever you get into medical schools, you find that there really aren't a whole lot of scholarships available. They're worth asking about, but you may not find them to be uh, hugely available. There are postgraduate uh, options as well. The military has an option. There's also the National Health Service Corps. And also there are some hospitals around the country as well which offer repayment programs where you uh, agree to serve at that hospital for a particular length of time and then they will agree to pay so much money back towards your student loans as well. So there's a whole range of options available to uh, pay for medical school. Sometimes it's really just about finding out what's available for you. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. Do stay tuned for additional videos in the coming weeks. Uh, and thank you very much for watching.